Okay, hi guys, it's T-Bone Pearson once again. Um, I have to do a little image editing, and uh, I know uh, you guys like when I do videos about uh, free programs, you know, because who wants to spend money when you can get something for free? So, I usually use Photoshop to do my image editing, uh, but today I'm going to try GIMP. Um, I actually don't really know even how to use it, but I have loaded it up before and played around with it a little. So hopefully I can accomplish my task in GIMP, which is open source, which means free to everyone. Uh, so let's just go, we're on the Google page here, and type in GIMP. Okay, and we have GIMP.org. Uh, we will click that, and here we go. That remember it was a little complicated to download. Whoa, no, it's not complicated. The download button's right there. All right, so let's click it. Easy peasy. Now what? Oh, uh, installer for Windows XP SP2 or later. So let's just check our system here. Start. Control panel. Um, system. We want to see if we have... We have uh, Service Pack 3 on here. Right there, guys. Uh, if you guys want to check that. So again, to check that, you just go... Um, oh, someone's online. Control panel. And then uh, system, and you can see what service pack you have on your system. Um, okay, so let's go back to GIMP and install it for Windows XP SP2 or later. That works for me because I have SP3. Download. Now, hopefully, this, is, this doesn't take too long. I, I didn't really think this part through. Uh, oh, there's a GoPro ad. Uh, there must be a cookie on my my computer that said uh, I was on the GoPro site earlier today buying it. Oh, I can't wait till it comes. Uh, anyways, back to it. Okay, this isn't going to take too long. Here we go. We have GIMP 2.6.11 downloading onto our system. It's uh, 19 megabytes. Um, and again, didn't cost us any money so far. Hopefully it does the trick. Alright, here it comes, here it comes. Here it's, it's coming down the pipe. We almost got it. Here, let's, let's see uh, what Emil wants. He's my buddy there. Oh, called me Mr. He he can be, uh, he's a good guy, but he's a little, it's not for kids. He, he likes to put some curse words in there. Anyways, enough about my odd friends. <laughs> he's a nice guy. All right, so we will open. And hopefully everything goes right here. And... Here we go. Uh, who reads these things, really? Um, install now. And it is loading up. So we are putting GIMP on uh, this computer. I have Photoshop on my other ones, but this is a new internet computer I'm using. It's a little faster. Uh, I was having trouble with my old my old internet system because I'd f it was one processor, and the processor kept heating up. So I put some fans sort of blasted the processor to cool it off and it worked but the fans are so loud and and I'm always shooting videos so I'm always was always having to turn off that system so now with this guy it's pretty quiet uh, I'd have to say we're loading up here okay just about done here guys um, now have you guys tried GIMP Am, um, anyone out there tried GIMP already and um, like it, hate it, you know, whatever. Um, I'd like to know. Comment. All right, so launch GIMP. That didn't take too long. All right, here it goes. GIMP startup. Okay, it's looking for data files. Um, so what I want to do is, see, here it is here. Um, I downloaded a helmet picture from GoPro. And I'm going to put that as my thumbnail uh, on my video. So that's my plan anyways. But I wanted to just have the helmet. There was some text and stuff on it. And YouTube thumbnails are usually pretty small. So I think I'm just, I just want to have the helmet if I can. Now let's see if GIMP will let me do that. All right. So that's, okay, here we go. So let's try importing or opening. I guess it's just like Photoshop. And where do we go? I guess we're looking for my downloads, which would be in here. Um, 
All images in my downloads. Shouldn't it be in there? Hmm, that's weird. All images. How about all files? And we'll see if the the helmet is in there. Where are you? Hmm. Okay, let's try... I thought I had it loaded here two seconds ago. Where are you? Helmet file. We are looking for you. What? You're on my computer somewhere. Uh... Alright, let's try my documents. My documents. Uh, downloads. Whole bunch of files in here. And where is the... Um, oh, I think I saved it to my desktop? <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Okay, so let's go back into GIMP. Um, I should have maybe done a test before I started the video, but... Hey, you know. That's alright. You guys know me. Alright. So, we want to go on the desktop now. Where we will find... Helmet HD. Alright, so there it is. Okay, this is interesting. And now I just wanted... I need like a selection tool. Okay, that's good. And I just want the helmet. I don't even care if I get that text in there. The end of the text there. I just want that. And then I'm going to copy. Now... If this is just like Photoshop, I go new and say OK. All right. And now I hit. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? I'll try paste. I don't know. I don't know if that worked, dudes. I don't know, man. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, within this new one, maybe then paste. Aha. OK, but the background is still white. I want it to sort of... That probably has to do with if it's like Photoshop. Is the canvas? They call it canvas. Canvas size? Okay. Um, and I want to chop some off here. So, what do I want to do? Maybe just cut down the width? We'll go to maybe 600? And resize? Hmm... So I can move that around a bit. So let's do the width again. Maybe let's put this right in the middle. And look at the canvas size. All right. Width. Let's say like four, 450. Okay. Resize. And now I want the height to be bigger. Height maybe... Oh, it's keeping it... Oh, see this little link here. There. We want to break that. Because it keeps playing with my height. Ah. Okay. 400. Let's do it. What's that do for us? Alright. That's a little better. We got our whole helmet in there. And now we could even chop off a little um, you know what? I'm okay with that. Now I wonder if I could get rid of that. I don't want this to go on too long but eraser? Sweet. Anything else? Oh, that's just like a little thing on my screen. Alright, so um, I think that's cool. Now in Photoshop you just sort of um, you sort of combine all these layers. I don't know if we have to do that in this. New layer. Um, let's just try rendering it out. So we'll go save as. Save in folder. We'll put it in... Um, where? On C? Just sitting on C? Sure, why not? Oh, browse for folders. Okay. Uh, name, we'll call this Helmet. And now, we will... Uh, where is this? Um, just on C. Just sitting on C? I'll be able to find it for now. That works for me. Okay, let's say, and now all images. Oh, we get to choose what we want to save this as. What about a good old JPEG. Do you guys see it anywhere in there? I don't yet. Ah! There we go. Alright, so I found JPEG. Let's say save. Oh, it didn't give us any options as to, like, what type of resolution we wanted or anything like that. Um, I'm sure it's in there somewhere or I missed it. Um, it's normally, but maybe it magically made it work. 
um, 328 kilobytes. Now I think that might be too big for a thumbnail on YouTube. Um, so it's opening up what? My little, what's it doing here? Hmm, and let's test it perhaps with Windows um, Open With. We'll go to that. Open With, um, Picture Viewer, how about Paint? It should open. Or oh, no, it can't. Oh, that's a GIMP image. Properties. Um, should be JPEG, shouldn't it? Opens with GIMP, sure. A type of file, a GIMP file. Odd. We wanted JPEG. All right, let's try that again. Hmm. Save as. I'm pretty sure I picked JPEG. Um, all right, let's try that again. An XCF, that must be a GIMP file. But let's try JPEG. <laughs> no, not that, okay. Uh, select file type by extension. Um, okay. Even a PNG file would work. You could try that. Uh, merge, flatten image, sure. And we'll just go with the default and save. Now let's go and see. There she blows. All right. That could work. And it's, I think for YouTube, it's like 225 kilobytes for a picture. So that should work. It's on my C, so let's remember that. Let's go to let's go to YouTube. All right, let's sign in. Hopefully, I'll just sign. Oh, crap! There's my thing and my password. All right. Probably not wise to show how many digits my, my password is, but that's okay. I'll change it after this. <laughs> okay, so um, my videos. Come on. Come on, computer. All right, there's my new video. I bought a GoPro HD Hero video camera. Let's go to edit. And let's go in here, and we will go to upload thumbnail. And we will load a PNG, it says down there. Uh, it is sitting on our C and helmet, and it is uploading it. So instead of the sort of crappy, that's okay. Um, it sort of cut off the top of the helmet, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so the, the one it grabbed from like within the video wasn't the greatest thumbnail in the world. Um, so it's not showing mine. Sometimes it takes a while. But usually it shows it in here. Let's try that again. Browse. Helmet. Upload. Save changes. Okay. And there we are. See, now it's showing it over here on the left. And it will take some time to update it in here. As you guys probably know. This isn't news to you guys. So uh, anyways, uh, it is uploaded. And hopefully we'll see it change on the actual video in a bit. So yeah, that is GIMP. That's my first sort of uh, real world test of GIMP. Uh, seemed to be sort of just like Photoshop. Free program, guys. So, uh, so if you want something just like Photoshop that's free, GIMP. I, li I like it. Yeah, it worked out great. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's how to uh, use GIMP. Download GIMP and how to upload a YouTube thumbnail uh, onto your videos. So uh, thanks for listening, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.